When we introduced matrix addition and scale their multiplication, we stated eight properties that those two operations have. In fact, the exact same properties that vector addition and scale their multiplication have. And we summarized that by saying that matrix addition and scale their multiplication act the way you'd expect them to. Well, that is emphatically not true of matrix multiplication. So let's state some properties that matrix multiplication has, but also some properties that it doesn't have, which we might expect it to. So let's let A be an M by N matrix, and let's let B and C be matrices of the appropriate dimensions. So that all of the multiplication I'm about to write down is defined. Let's start with some good points. Some ways in which matrix multiplication acts the way you'd expect it to. Matrix multiplication had better be associative, we explicitly defined matrix multiplication to make it be associative. And it is, we have this property. We are very used to multiplication distributing over addition, we do have that property. And it doesn't matter which side the multiplication is on. Multiplication distributes over addition. We can move scalars around. We've seen plenty of examples of this when we were working with the vectors. It's true for matrices as well. If we've got a scalar times a product, we can move this scalar and these parentheses around. This last property that I'll call good is maybe less obvious than the others, but there is a matrix that acts like one. This matrix is called the identity matrix. And the identity matrix is written as I. But that's a little deceptive because there are infinitely many identity matrices. There's a two by two square identity matrix. There's a three by three identity matrix. 
matrix. There's a four by four identity matrix and so on. The identity matrix is the square matrix that has ones going down its diagonal and is zero everywhere else. And what do I mean when I say that it acts like one? I mean that multiplying by the identity matrix does not change the matrix. A brief note about this, we'll come back to this, we'll use it in this class. It might not look like much, but this is actually very important. For now, just a quick note. If A is M by N and the identity matrix is square, then for this multiplication to be defined, this identity matrix is N by N. Down here for our dimensions to match, the identity matrix has to be M by M. So we use the same notation, but this matrix and this matrix are actually different. They're of different dimensions. And that's usually not going to cause any confusion. But if we're worried about that, we sometimes put the size of the identity matrix in a subscript. So we can write I sub N and I sub M to make sure there's no confusion. I know I suggested that in this video I was going to talk both about good properties that matrix multiplication has, and also properties that you might expect it to have that it doesn't. I've since decided while I was recording this that I'd rather split that into two videos. So having stated the good properties, I'm going to end this video here.